Rightio, today we're going to show you how to do a Texas brown knot on an end assembly, the good country fencing way. Right, this wire here that comes through the jaws, you might cut it back here about where these jaws are. Bend it out 90 degrees to the jaws, tilt them upright if you like. Grab the other wire from the other end, pull it past the jaws till you've got, oh, let's say, foot 14 inches. That'll do. This wire that runs past, pull it firm, clockwise, like the hands of a clock, keep them flat all the way around to where it came from. This wire that's vertical, start bending it down, little bend with your thumb there, under this other wire, it gets pulled tight, pull on it while you bend it, around until you're up to 11 o'clock. It's gone over this tail here, you see. This tail here now comes back the opposite way, anti-clockwise, till it's at about 12. This hand that you bent first, pulled down, just tuck it under that wire that's running through the jaws temporarily, and now you can take the strainers off. The wire that you've tucked underneath gets wrapped first. We do three, and the second wire, the beauty is they go in opposite directions. Balance the whole lot up. Get rid of that bend there, you don't want it. Make that piece a bit longer. Pulling while you go or you'll get big yucky loops. No one likes big yucky loops. Three this way. Pull the whole lot together. Get rid of that bend again. No bends where you don't want them. Right, you get that wire through there. Don't pull on it until you've got it facing the direction you want it to be in eventually. Right? Otherwise you'll end up with big spiral knots. Two wraps around there. A little bit past. Grab it like that. Snap it off. Same with this one. Get rid of that knot. Bend it in. Finger under here, put a little bend in so you can push it up through the middle. And again. Maybe a bit more. Snap it off. There you go. Tex Brown. Cheers. <laughs>